Hello, for those who don't know me, my name is Bill and welcome to my game room. This week I decided to do a throwback Thursday and go all the way back to the Nintendo NES. So we're going to be playing on the Sharp Twin Famicom. System was released in Japan only. It was released in 1986. It has a floppy disk drive and it does play Famicom games. So this is what we're going to be playing this week. This is Birds Week. Fantastic game. This is a Famicom uh, cartridge. As you can see, it's much smaller than the Nintendo NES cartridges that we got here in the United States because we wanted ours to look more like a VCR tape. So this is what they look like. They come in many different colors, quite bright, colorful, and fantastic game. And this one, of course, in the US, fantastic Mario Duck Hunt. But as you can see, you know, same same kind of system, just different size of cartridges. So also before we play the game, I wanted to show also this. This is the controller you can use. There's two built-in internal controllers and you, you have an option to use an external. Works with about 90% of the games. This is the probably the first controller Hori ever made. This is the Commander for the Famicom. It has sliders here for the turbos and it's a cool little controller. It's a little odd shaped, but overall pretty comfortable. Hello everybody. So here is my Sharp Twin Famicom. It was released in 1986 by Sharp. It is a Nintendo NES. It's unique because it's a built-in floppy disk drive to the bottom there and on top you can play your Famicom cartridges. So it was it only lasted for about two years. There was a total of four models. I believe I have the one with the shortest wired controllers. The other three have longer controllers. Mine's about three feet long, so I'm going to have to figure that out, make them much longer. Uh, but besides that, it has had some work done to it. It has a brand new cap kit. It does have a brand new belt drive for the floppy disk. And it also has a NES RGB out. My buddy did all the hard work for it. So the NES RGB out lets you use the component cables. So you can use the HD RetroVision component cables and running that through a RetroTank 5X picture looks fantastic. Now the component cables were also used on the SNES, N64, and GameCube, so it makes the picture a lot better. Now this, like I said, was only lasted for about two years. It was pulled off the market because of the rampant piracy in Japan. People found out how to copy their own discs and bypass the uh, copyright protection pretty easily. So without further ado, we're going to be playing Birds Week and maybe a few others and check it out. Okay, so here's the first game on the list. This is Birds Week. It is called Japan. Bird Week. Bird Week. <laughs> so fantastic game. Thank you, Google. Translate. And... Let's see here. Your whole object is to feed your baby birds, get them strong enough to fly off and start their own families. So you have to feed each one of them, I believe, three unfortunately cute little butterflies. Well, they're not really cute. They're all the same color, but they are butterflies. So for this game, you're playing as Mama Bird, feeding the baby birds. If you're in the role of the butterfly, it's a Jaws game. They're trying to survive, plead for their lives, flutter around, flutter to safety. Those big evil birds coming down, swooping down, grabbing them and feeding them to the baby birds. But actually, in honesty, it's a fun game. It's a hard, challenging game. Gotta get these birds to fly off like that. Oh, you've grown so fast. Have a good life. Don't forget to write. So as you see, challenging game is there's lots of obstacles. 
such as birds and other animals trying to attack you as it, it goes on. Supposedly what I read is there's 999 levels. I don't know who's played it that long, but whoever did. And uh, once you get to the 999th level, it resets and starts all over from the beginning. So it's basically a never ending game, I guess. So we gotta feed, look at those cherry blossom trees and that thing's hyper, that little kangaroo thing. It just, they bounce high too. So let's see, we gotta feed you some nice nutritious butterflies. It's kind of neat how the backgrounds change too, each one. I'm not sure if they all, all 999 are different. I've never been that high. I think the highest I've been is like eight or 10. I'm not that good. But as you can see, fantastic little game. Now this is, as you can see, is running through the new NES RGB mod. The new cap kit and everything, so the resolution looks really great, fantastic now. And it's being run through the uh, RetroTank 5X, which makes it even look better. So between those two things, it just looks fantastic on this uh, Sharp Twin Famicom. And I'm really enjoying this game. I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing about Badu Iku, if I'm saying it right. Birds Week, but fantastic little game, challenging. And there's a, that thing's annoying me, that little kangaroo thing. That was close, almost had me. So, let's feed you so you can move on to your own home. Those are definitely cherry blossom trees. This takes place in different parts of the world. Different birds. Where these are more autumn looking trees. So, interesting, 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 very cool. Get off me. And uh, you can use the mushrooms and things you see down below as a weapon you can drop them on top of the birds and get rid of them or other creatures it's just i don't use that in my strategy i just basically do dodging and try to feed them and get them off as, as soon as possible so anyways fantastic little game and it's one that i didn't expect that i would like I've seen pictures of it and videos of it, but never played it till it came into my collection and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Okay, now he's taking off. Wow, that was close. I was right under him. Okay, so we got... I'm doing actually, I'm doing pretty good so far. But I may speak too soon and... Oh, I did speak too soon. <laughs> I, j I jinxed myself. My little birdie was jinxed. I don't think there's other games out there like this that I know of that I've played. This is very unique. And let's see. One more. Do or die. Get me a, ooh, almost died. Okay, I need a butterfly. Give me a little butterfly. Got one. 
What land? Okay. Go off and enjoy your life. Don't forget to write. So what are we on? Round four now? Three or four? Oh yeah, this is the bonus level. There's bonus levels too. This one you have to capture fish. And there's nothing really hard about it. You just get as many fish as you can to get extra points. There are little fish jumping out of the water. And there's no predators out there. Just a nice day of you over the water eating fish. And you're not feeding them to anybody, you're just eating them yourself, so. Very nice day for the bird. And uh, I do like doing these throwback Thursdays, especially revisiting the Famicom, because there's quite a few games I haven't seen. Didn't come to the US. That could have, this one could have came to the U.S. and probably been, probably did pretty well in the U.S. states, I think. Maybe not. It's not really, there's a little woodpecker. It's really nothing uh, that I think they would have to do for localization. It's very easy to translate. Well, it already is. I guess, maybe it did come to the U.S. and I'm wrong. Ouch. So... One more bird left, and then we'll switch the game up to another one. I'll look around my collection here. Okay, well that is it for Birds Week. So let's check out another game. Okay, so here is Biro Miracle Bokle Upede. Let's make sure I said it right. If it'll listen to me. Uh, where's the translation? No, it's not working. Oh, maybe because I am... Messing it up. Biro Miracle Book the Up the. Biro Miracle Book the Up. Yes, I was pretty close. So yeah, this is it. Fantastic platforming game. Never came to the United States. And the story is about a baby prince who comes from a line of brave fighters. And one day, a evil spirit escapes named Zai, incredibly evil goldish demon who takes the life force of the kingdom adults and kidnaps all the babies, except for Upada. And Upada is given a magic rattle, uh, magical rattle by a fairy who was trapped in an urn along with Zai. So in order to save the kingdom, he crawls into action to save all the little babies around. So this magical rattle, when he hits them, it inflates them with air and he can float on for a brief time until they pop, I guess. So his land is very cool, to, and the, the kingdom he lives in, it's full of sweets. So everything uh, kids love, full of sugars and cakes and candies and things. He's probably got a stomach ache, but I guess they're used to it. Used to eating that stuff, so for them, it's they have no problems. It looks like the demons look like more like pigs and things like that. Uh, so fantastic game full of charm. And it looks definitely fantastic on this RetroTink 5X with the uh, system, the, the Twin Famicom modded with the NES RGB out, which is uses component cables now, so it makes it look a lot better. And this is the first demon pig, I would say. And you have to inflate these little demons and when you inflate them, you can push them uh, towards him and ram it into him like that. And you have to hit them a certain number of times, like three or four times, and they, you beat them. So this game is a lot of fun. Surprised it never came to the US. Uh, milk bottle, definitely need some milk. To wash down all this cake and sweets. So my question is, since you're watching this footage, what would you have named this game to localize it? What would Baby Upa's name be in the United States or in, in the Western world? Not in the United States, just in Western, in English. What would you name this game? So it'd have to be something very creative, 
I can't think of anything, but I'm not good at giving names and things either. Do I like this level a lot, especially because this level you're tunneling through cakes and sweets. I always like the uh, fruits and stuff in the middle of those cakes that have all the fruits in them and the frosting. So I'll eat that mostly. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> The baby Upa is telling his way through. And there we go. And got to take care of all these little demons. Get them out of the way. I guess demons like sweets too. They want to rule the cakes. So definitely a, a crawling hero. Interesting game. I don't think it's ever been done. Or we've had a baby hero with a rattle, magical rattle, milk, need some milk. So you can see, you can see it's a fantastic game full of charm. Definitely has some strategy involved because you can, when you inflate the demons, you can ride them to get to new places and things. Not on this level, but other levels. And there's a lot of strategy involved in that. And it's pretty challenging because it's hard to get them exactly, you have to hit it the exact way you want it to go to ride it, to ride them, to get to new places and things you need. Oh, there's a bottle. So as you can see, a lot of fun. And like I said, I think it's, everybody should have this in their collection if you can get it. I think it's a little expensive right now. Uh, I haven't looked in a while, but I think it's pretty expensive. Uh, ouch, but definitely fun game. I think it came to actually virtual console of things, but I think it was on the Wii or Wii U. I can't remember. Came to the virtual console brief briefly. Like I said, this is a Konami game in 1988. Rescued the two fairies there, and then that's cute. They'll take you, grab each side of your baby, each side of you, and carry you off to the new land. The new world, 1.3 world. Now these are those hard candies. I never liked the green hard candies. The red ones I like, but not the green ones. I don't like anything green. Green Skittles, green candies, if anything. I'll pass on all those. Uh, let's see. Those are those kind of hard candies that your grandparents would give you as a kid. I think they're the very, very mental, uh, middle, they would have like a little tiny cream you'd get to. Like I said, I liked most of them except for the green ones. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that hopping little demon. Let's see, is there anything up here? Not really. I'll try to get over there. Oh, I didn't make it. Ouch. And I lost my opportunity. I wonder if those are ice cream popsicles. If they are, it must be cold crawling across it. Or those are just suckers. Lollipops. What's that? Aha! Fire. Definitely fire. Like a flamethrower. Okay, let's toast them up. Those are like pigs, so here's bacon. Okay, let's see what's over here. Another pig, no more fire, no bacon. Okay, let's see, get over here. Apple, oh, that's good. Uh, okay, let's see if I can make it. That was a good close jump. Okay, a heart, that gives you an extra heart. So as you can see, a lot of charm in this game. Baby Upa is saving the world of his land from all these evil demons trying to take it over and rescue all the babies and free them around the lands by getting by saving all the fairies first, I guess. So I haven't seen any babies to rescue, but uh, I guess they show up later on. Ooh, that was close. Ouch. Let's see if I can get up here now. Okay, good. 
so oh yeah okay the next boss boss battle with another one so as you inflate these things you're supposed to push them like that to him and hit him with them that's how you beat the uh, end bosses oh i missed it i keep making a mistake where i try to hit the thing and not push it because you can't hit it and knock it towards him you can only push it and i did it again let's see if i can get it right this time they're out of position he's past me so i can't get it over there maybe this one uh right now okay big mouth demon take that okay and one more i think it's just one more it should be it yep two chests this time okay uh i'll take this one Okay, there's two fairies here. I want it was in the other one. That's interesting. So two chests. And I can't imagine the other one would have fairies in it also. Or they would take you different places. I don't know. Interesting. So let's see here. That's like a squid thing. Oh, that almost hit me. So I could have seen this coming to the U.S. and doing pretty well. But it would have to have a, a catchy name. And that's the problem, is I can't think of a catchy name. Maybe the others couldn't think of anything either, so they didn't bring it over. Because 1988, that was still way into the, uh, early into the NES. For the U.S. market, so it could have done well. But it was early on, so they were still feeling us out what things would sell and what wouldn't. Because that was pretty much a... Uh, 83 was the, the crash of 83, the video game uh, crash. 85, uh, 86, 87 was the test markets. So New York first, Los Angeles test market to see if it... Uh, Video game console would sell in the United States, and that's what Nintendo did. So 88, they were still feeling things out. A lot of companies of what would sell, what wouldn't, maybe they were just not taking any chances yet. But I think this one would have done well. My first Nintendo NES I got around I was in Long Beach, so I was part of the uh, second wave when they were testing the markets in Los Angeles. So I think it was uh, 86 I got mine. Was it 85? Yeah, 86. Summer 86, I believe. At Toys R Us of all places. I was probably 13 at the time. I actually saved up and bought it, the uh, Nintendo NES, with my own money. So, saved up by taking care of some dogs that my neighbors had that they went on. A, they were a business people, so they left town for, well, the, the guy did. He was a business person who worked in New York a lot, so he had to leave for like two or three months. So while he was gone, I took care of the dogs making sure they were fed, cleaned, and he would check in here and there through the phone, talk to my grandfather, and ended up earning enough money to buy a Nintendo NES and a couple of games. So it was fantastic. My first console bought with my own money. So, uh, this is, like I said, this. Twin Famicom, definitely a cool system, especially since you can play the floppy disks all in one, and my floppy disk player is working. I need to get more floppy disks. Problem is, I don't know where to really get them besides the, on the internet. 
So anyways, that is it for this episode. Ouch. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. There should be more throwbacks coming soon. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.